Okay, we're going to uh, go over how to program a repeater into a Baofeng UV5R series radio here today. Going to need a Baofeng radio, and you're going to need your repeater data. Your repeater data uh, should consist of a re received frequency and offset direction. Offsets are standard, 5 megahertz for uh, most UHF and 0.6 megahertz for VHF. Okay, um, we're going to program in, I think this uh, KD2SL repeater today here in Syracuse. And that's uh, receive frequency is 442.400 with a positive offset of 5 megahertz and a PL tone of 103.5. All right. Repeaters. off of that frequency so we don't have to listen to those guys. Okay. <clears throat> Repeaters. Repeaters receive one frequency and they transmit another frequency. Your radio working with a repeater does the same thing. Your radio will transmit a positive 5 megahertz over what it's receiving. The repeater hears that pi positive 5 megahertz and rebroadcasts it at the receive frequency that you all are listening to. And therefore it can double or triple or quadruple your range. It can do some amazing things for you. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have to program in a receive frequency and a transmit frequency. And we're going to be transmitting a PL tone or privacy lock tone. Uh, which is going to be the unlock tone for the repeater. Now the PL tone is only going to go in on the transmit side of our signal because we only want to unlock the repeater. We don't want to actually restrict what we can hear and that's what PL tones actually do. So they don't give you privacy. It's not like scrambling anybody with an open carrier can listen to you. Repeaters don't run with an open carrier because then every time an open carrier hit they would open up and uh, that's not what they want. They want to restrict access to people that have the necessary information to get to them. Now these are statewide repeaters here. These are open repeaters and they're intended for amateur use throughout the state. So what we're going to do, first things first. Channel mode. We're going to get ourselves into frequency mode with our VFO channel mode bu button. Frequency mode. We're going to make sure that we have our top line selected here, which is currently set at 147.007. Okay, we're going to now dial in our receive frequency, which is 442.400. So, here we go. 4, 4, 2, 4, 0, 0. Okay, so far so good. We have our receive frequency for our repeater in frequency mode dialed into our radio. Now we're going to hit menu. menu. And we're going to scroll through our menu. A lot of stuff in here. I'm going to point out the stuff we're concerned with. Okay. Your offset, that doesn't matter right now um, because we're going to be saving this to channel mode and uh, that doesn't that doesn't matter. Okay, our transmitted CTCS received CTCS. Now our transmitted CTCS is already set for us at the number we need set. It's actually a pretty common transmitted PL tone and I have already had channels saved on this at one point. So now I'm going to go ahead 
show you how to change that though. You're going to simply, once you have it showing up on the menu, you're going to hit CTCSS. The menu button. And CTCSS, it will say. You can now scroll through the available tones or until you get to the one you want or you can dial it in. And there it is. Once you have it in there, hit menu again to confirm. Confirm. And it's in there. You want to make sure that the receive CTCS is off. You don't want to restrict what you can hear. Timeout timer. That restricts how long you can talk on the channel. The beep. The beep is the tone that sounds every time you touch a button on, the, on your radio. Turn that off. I do. TDR, dual monitor. Very nice, very useful, also can be confusing. So much of the time I leave that off. Menu. Okay. And wideband. Amateur radios run on wideband. Professional radios, uh, stuff for uh, part 90, your business band stuff, Menu. those run on narrow band, have to be on narrow band uh, by January of 2013. Amateur is still wideband. Vox, that's your uh, voice activation, uh, can come in useful for setting up your own uh, Baofeng repeater. Transmit power, I've got set on high. I'm putting out a 5 watts with this radio on high. Okay, so I've got my... Um, I've got my frequency set here at 442.400. That's my receive frequency for my KD2SL repeater in Syracuse. So I'm going to hit menu. Menu. And I can scroll through the menu or I can just dial in 27, which gets me right to memory channel. You can use the up and down arrows to get to it. This is just a little faster. Hit menu again. Memory channel. And I hit memory again menu again. Receiving memory. Now it says receiving memory. That means it's saving the receive frequency for this channel. Now I'm going to change to my transmit frequency four, four. which is plus 5 megahertz. 7. 4. 0. 0. Which will put it at 447.400. I hit menu again. Menu. And there's my channel looking at me again. Now I didn't point this out before and I should point this out. I'm going to select memory channel. Menu. Memory channel. If you notice the difference here, when you scroll through channels, channels that have no channel designator are not saved. Channel 100 is saved. That's where I just saved my receive frequency. Okay? I want to save my transmit frequency on the same channel, obviously. So I've got channel 100 once again selected. Transmitting memory. And now it tells me transmitting memory. So it's saving my transmit frequency. All right. That's done. So let's go to channel, channel mode. mode. And we're at channel 100. I'm going to switch down here to my B, my B line display because my B line I have set up for, uh, for um, frequency display versus channel name display. And I'm going to go to channel 100. One, zero, zero. And there's my 442.400 receive frequency. Notice I'm now transmitting at 447.400. 
And there's my repeater talking back to me. And that is how to program a channel for a repeater into your Baovang UV5R radio. 73s. Have a great day.